Hey guys, welcome back to Bell. Today we're going to be working with two dogs, Doberman and a Belgian Malinois. It really isn't about biting. This is about the dog's commitment to work. So do you have any questions about fight or flight? Okay, explain. So fight or flight is basically changing the dog's move to think that they have an acute response to it's a life-threatening situation and they must have forward aggression to back that uh, that threat away, right? You'll see the dog salivating more, they become more wired, and you can simply change that by putting on a costume. People do it all the time. Okay. They'll put on a costume and scare their dogs at their house. And you know, during Halloween time and the dog changes their response. Dogs are fight, flight, or nothing, right? Flight means to run away, to be scared, to get flee, to get out of the situation, right? They only have two options to survive this, either fight me or run from me. So that's what we're gonna do here with these. Now, dogs. you mentioned already uh, earlier, you said Halloween. How you deal with that? Since you're already training the dog in protection and everything else, and uh, you're using the costumes for, for that purpose, how you handle or not to make the dog aggressive to separate from Halloween costume and, you know. So there is no separation of that. Even if, if it was Halloween and, and your dog had to fight, your dog has a fight or flight response, they may react to the person regardless whether they were trained or not because you're actively putting them in a situation where they're in fight or flight. Mm -hmm. So even if you didn't train them in protection and someone came over with a spooky mask, they're going to react because now they think their life is danger. So they may either run away or they're going to bite the person. So, so there's no training for that. There's no training to make peep dogs custom to costumes. So what is your solution for that? Put your dog up during Halloween. Especially if you have... <laughs> especially... <laughs> she's just tearing up my stuff. She really wants to get... See? She, so she, Brian, she, go ahead and spam her. So she is in no mode right now. <laughs> Neither is him. They're Neither one coolest. of them are scared... Neither one of them are... Look, he's digging like... Hey, yeah, he's digging over there. I really don't care. She's, there's no response. This is a natural response to the dog. She's not scared and she's not angry. Zeus, right? no! So, what I'm no. going to do is I'm going to change... Come here. Zeus. I'm going to change my clothes and my appearance here. to see if I can get them to respond. Stop being bad. Now, if they know it's me inside of the costume, then they're not going to change. But if I could trick them and make them think it's somebody else, then they would right and by tricking them by, by me leaving Anna here they may think I'm still here when the new person comes to the gate so that's what we're working on fight or flight response to understand the difference in protection dogs police dogs and sport dogs protection dogs live in fight or flight that's the only way they live everything is either serious or it's not right okay. and we don't want them and we don't want a protection dog scared and run away because that's no good so we want them to move into flight fight mode and not flight mode okay all right so we're gonna do that real quick. So I'm gonna fire them up in my suit. They're gonna bark and yell and all that stuff, but they're not gonna really be aggressive. But so when I, I really change, she you'll see something different, huh? So I think I don't even need them. Yeah, you will when we go to the bite box. Oh. Remember, I told you. We're gonna actually show you Athena go through fight and flight mode when we put her in the box. No. No. So as you see, I have on regular clothes. I haven't changed. They're right here, right? They're backing up a little bit, right? No, she tried to get it to you. No one's really barking at me. They're just, they're just actually ready to work. That's all you're seeing, but you don't see any barking. So I'm gonna go change. I'm gonna come back and see who wants to bark and who, whoever starts barking, they'll, they just moved into fight mode, right? If the dog runs away from the fence, he's moving into flight mode. No, it's easy way to explain that. I'll be right back. So we're changing to our new clothing and we're going to see the dog's response when I come back out. Here I come. Oh! 
Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl. You know, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good boy. Yes, good girl. Right. And you can see just from that how tense things got, especially with Zeus wanted to take over and dominate her because she was being aggressive. So when we talk about the emotional state of the dog when you're training, it's very important. If the dog is not in, in a, any kind of a great emotional state, then you're not, you're just, they're just biting stuff. They don't really have a reason. There's no reason behind what they're doing. You're not pushing the dog to do something. So now we're going to put Athena in the bite box and we're going to do the same thing. Let's get it. So again, we go back to fight or flight. Wait. We're talking about that. I don't have on anything scary to her. Wait. And you'll no. see how well no. she holds her bite. No. Oh, Athena. She don't care. No, she don't care, right? Good girl. She don't. She don't care. Now, when I, when I change outfits, will she care? Because now she knows. Good girl. Right. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good, girl. good, girl. good, girl. Ooh, good counter. Right? Good girl. She, good she's girl. not barking. She's not scared. Good girl. Out. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Right? Good girl. So now we change. Sit. And Athena. I'll change Sit. I'll change here right in front of her. I'm gonna change right in front of her. Athena. Athena. Sit. Sit. She's sit. like, uh-uh, it's too hot for that. Make her sit. Hey, sit. See? Now mama's all cooled down. But I'm gonna cool her down and then wait for her to calm down, then we'll go back to work. Yeah, I did good, didn't I? I pulled you down, didn't I? Always gotta care about the dog no matter what. You know, at the end of the day, it's the dog. She could have not been overheating, but it didn't matter, so I did it anyway. Just to make sure. I know, mama. You need to lay down. Yeah, good girl. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Way to get daddy wet. <laughs> it felt good though. Whatever. So that's how they cool themselves down through their mouth. When they're panting, that's how they that's how they cool themselves down. Dogs don't sweat. They just sweat through their paw glances. They cool themselves down by doing by patting like that. So you put water on them, cold water prefer, dump it all over them and let them drink it. Drink the water too. But you're right, she's done for the day. At least for now. Yeah. I have to go put her up so she can get AC and sleep. She do. For at least about an hour or so. We'll I come, think we'll, we can do it again we'll like around 7 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, 7 o'clock and do it again. Yeah. Because she's, uh, she she's done. wired herself up too much. She's done. Yeah. And she got too wired when I did the fence. That's what I'm saying. She wired herself too much. When I did the fence. She used up all the energy. Because she, she was in fight mode. Mm -hmm. And she was mentally, she mentally exhausted herself. That's what I was talking about, right? Because yeah. remember what I said the other day about Fang? When he was salivating, you saw it. She's salivating right now. She's got salivation coming off. And Athena never salivates. Right. So that means I mentally pushed her into fight mode and she got exhausted, you know? So that's a prime example of fight and flight. If the dog is not mentally draining themselves to protect them, then they're not in fight mode. And if they're not in fight mode, they're not gonna fight when you need them to. So that's all it was. 
you can still use it with your gloves? You try to be funny? Huh? You try to be funny? Uh, I can use it with the glue, blue, blue, ah. I can use it with the blue gloves. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't use it with gloves. Huh? I can't use the phone where I'm wearing gloves. No, with the, uh, with the other gloves. Uh. Which one I just got, the new ones? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I cannot do that with this one. You can put it right there, Brian. I'm gonna stop training when I think the dog, um, it may be something damaging to their health. When you work in fight or flight mode, mentally it's exhausting the dog. It drains the dog faster. A dog that you could have probably worked and fight with for 30 minutes and prey mode or play mode, you could really only do for five to 10 minutes in flight and fight mode. Though. Cause the dog is flying, you ain't, you're not working in any mode. So any Anyway, we got her inside. We have the AC on her. And then we got a fan in here. And we're gonna have a cool, we're gonna have a shade in here for her. And then we're gonna come back and, and work with her uh, maybe this evening after she cools down. But again, when you work in fight mode, the dog mentally is training, right? Come on, Dana, we're all caged. Come get your water. So, um, always safety first. She started patting really heavy, which means that she was really excited and exhausted. So I decided to, to stop training and start back later. Still backwards, bro. What the fuck is Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Where's the arm at, man? You the one on the outside, I'm on the inside. Come on, where's the arm? You got the hoodie up? Would you run from this? Yeah, she would. Mama's cooled off. We're gonna go back out and we're gonna restart. And all right, Mama, you ready? And she's all she's almost dried up too. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, big mama. No, we ain't going nowhere. Come on, Dana. Good girl. Yo, no. Come on. Yes, good girl. Good girl. The temperature's good too right now. Definitely cooled off. Come on, let's go, let's go work. Come on, yes, this is a good girl. Yeah, good girl. Come on, Dana, come on. Let's go. Good job. You look good. You look good. Good girl. All right, so we need to get the best back on her. And come here, Dana. We'll get her back in the box. Dana, come here. She might have to use the bathroom because she, drinks, use the bathroom. she drinks some water. She definitely drinks some water. We'll give her a minute. You're going to use the bathroom? Uh, let's see you. Let's see you. There we go. And calm her all the way down. Okay. She's good too. I'll get the stuff. So go ahead and put the vest on her and then I'm going to go and... Dana, come here. Get the stuff. Oh yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Mm -hmm. I love Dina. you too. Dina. Yes, a good girl. Yes, you got mama. Oh, she got mama. I know, I know, I know. I know. <sighs> right in the eyeball, girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? All Come right, on. so Brian, help your mom get her in a box real quick. I got it. I got it. Come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl. I love you too. So I got her. So Dina's back in the box. She's cooled down. She's hydrated. And now we're going to work her. And the first we worked her was in regular mode. And then we're going to work her in uh, fight mode. So that's what we're going to do right here. You see her Stacey. tail? As soon as I changed into this outfit, her tail tucked between her legs, right? So we already said she's already moving herself into fight mode, right? She's already doing it. Look at her. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, I know, watch it. I know, I know. Watch. No, good girl. That's a good girl. Stay in the box. Stay here. See, I'm face to face, but we're in this mask, right? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 
the girl. Good girl, yes. Leave it. Leave it. You ready? Alright, so now I'm gonna stalk her. Now I'm gonna walk her all the way in. I'm gonna look as spooky as I can look. And you'll see exactly how vicious she can get in fight or flight mode. You gotta hold the leash. Alright. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Yes, I know. 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 No, 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 no. Stay in the box. I know. I know. You need to stay here. I know. I know. I know. I know. Watch it. No. Good girl. Good girl. Uh -uh. Good girl. Good girl. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I know. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Watch it. 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 Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Ooh. 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 Ooh. Good girl. Ooh. Yes, good girl. Ooh. That's a good girl. Ooh. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Alice. Yes. Good All right, girl. I, can, I can give her one more bite in the suit, and then she's done. Yeah. No, Athena. Alright, I can only wait till I'm somewhere. There you go. You gotta pull it through. Perfect. Yeah. Alright. Uh, go get a, a leash real quick. You see your way of your sleeve? Huh? Where you sleep at? My bike sleeve. She yeah. took it over there? She took it over there. So did you see how much she was salivating? Yes. Okay. And she never salivates when she trains. Then she wrapped herself around you, right? She was that extremely hyped. Now do you understand fight or flight? Mm -hmm. She was really like, okay, bad things can happen, right? Mm -hmm. So that that's the prime example of fight or flight. You've had her in a bite box a dozen times and that's the first time that ever happened to you. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You ready? Yes. Watch it. Watch it. I think it's white. Watch it. 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 Oh, 
哥，哇，我是哥哥，哇，我是哥哥，哇，哥哥，挖起，挖起，挖起，挖起，挖起，挖起，听到？哥哥，哥哥。Oh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We enjoyed making the video for you. We want to make more. Thank you again for watching our video. We appreciate it from the bottom of our heart from everybody at Madison Bell and me, most definitely. Thank you for subscribing.